Mother. Ethan, good morning. Early game? Mm, lesson. The continual pursuit of the perfect serve. But why are you taking lessons here at the country club? We have six courts at home, not to mention the two indoors. Grass is being resodded, and it's too lovely to play indoors. I thought you were supposed to be in court to defend Sheridan. I am, but uh, Father asked me to meet him here first. Oh. Good heavens! Why did I have to read in the paper that my sister spent the night in jail and she's scheduled for a court hearing today? Sheridan Crane to face the judge. Father, you knew Sheridan was arrested for hitting that police car when she returned from Paris. But I did not want the whole world to know it. Every charge against her is listed. Listen. Destroying police property. Reckless driving. Resisting arrest. This is not the type of image we paid public relations a fortune to project about the Crane family. Calm down, Father. You're going to have a coronary. Oh, do go on, Julian. Lopez Fitzgerald, the same cop who came to the house about the gunshots, our housekeeper Pilar's son. That's right. I still don't know what really happened that night. Don't shoot me, Mrs. Crane! Please don't shoot me! I warned you, Julian. I warned you about flaunting your mistresses in my face. But you crossed the line this time with the maid in my house. Oh, never again. Ah! You killed Mr. Crane! You missed, Ivy. I wouldn't waste good bullets on you, Julian. They were blank. Oh, stop sniveling, Suzanne, and start packing. I want you out of here in five minutes. Oh. And don't come back. You're fired. One more thing, Suzanne. If you ever repeat what happened here tonight to anyone, I will come after you with real bullets. I told you, Ethan, the fool was mistaken. The gunshot he heard was uh, coming from a radio program. I know that's what you said, but Ivy... I want you to fire Pilar. Oh, Julian, please don't go into this again. I've told you before, I won't allow it. Her loyalty is unquestionable. How could a loyal servant allow her son to attack us? She's been with the family for years. She works for me. She stays. Father, there's no need to fire Pilar. I've already told you, after today, Luis won't be a problem. Oh, and why not? Last night, Sheridan and I stopped by Pilar's birthday party. He kissed her and then danced with her. What? Louise and Sheridan? That's right. And today I'm going to put him on the stand and accuse him of sexual harassment. Uh -huh. Are you telling us that this Louise forced himself on my sister Sheridan? That's incredible. I didn't say he forced himself. Actually, uh, Louise was blindfolded. He had just hit a pinata as part of their birthday celebration. But he claims he didn't know it was Sheridan who he grabbed and kissed. So it could have all been a misunderstanding. Yes, but I might still be able to use it to show bias for sexual harassment. No. I absolutely forbid that. Why? Can you just see the headlines, Cop and Crane Harris and Steamy Clinch? No. I will not hand the tabloids their weekly feast. But it's the best way to get the charges dropped. Forget it, Ethan. We don't want press or the police becoming too interested in Sheridan or her past. Do we, Ivy? No. What did happen that night all those years ago? No one ever told me the details. There's no reason you should know the details. Father took care of Sheridan's past. Now we just don't want Sheridan drawing attention to herself. We don't want the police to start digging into the past. Sheridan should never come back to Harmony. Who? Frank Lomax. He's the private investigator who's looking for that girl that's stalking Ethan. I want to see if he's had any luck tracking you down. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh. It's time Ethan learned how we cranes take care of things in this town privately. What are you up to? I'm going to teach that tin badge Lopez Fitzgerald a lesson. He'll learn not to cross the cranes. We certainly don't want Sheridan's past investigated, do we? No. 
Uh, this is Julian Crane. Give me the mayor. <clears throat> Walter. Yes, fine, fine. Listen, there's a very delicate matter uh, I would like to bring to your attention, Walter. It concerns my sister Sheridan and a, a Harmony police officer who's sexually harassing her. That's right, Walter. I want Lopez Fitzgerald off the case. Good. You see that it happens. That should take care of old Luis and help Ethan with the case. What about the press? Uh, Mayor will make sure there's no coverage. Luis Lopez Fitzgerald now knows exactly who runs this town. I don't know, Julian. Luis doesn't strike me as someone who's so easily controlled. Oh, sure he will. Eventually they're all controlled, just as Luis's boss, Sam Bennett, will be. Well, I have to get to my lesson. I'd like you to meet my husband, Julian Crane. Uh, oh, hi, hello, Mr. Crane. Whitney. My wife tells me you're quite good, good enough to be a star someday. Well, thank you. My goal is to win the gold medal at the Olympics and then turn pro. <laughs> oh, and perhaps the Wimbledon trophy someday? That's well, next. <laughs> I admire your determination. You know, Crane Industries may be interested in becoming a corporate sponsor. Well, that would be wonderful. You are an excellent player. You must have just a terrific coach. Yes, my father. Oh, really? Well, why don't you have your father call my office, and he and I can discuss the details. I will. That's Thank it. you. <laughs> oh, he's here right now. Were oh, you so startled when you saw Whitney's father? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, don't play games with me, Julian. I saw the way you reacted when you saw him. He became tense, almost... Hostile. Why? You don't know what you're saying. Drop it, Ivy. <laughs> 